two American League teams. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Seattle Mariners. Ready to go on 2K Sports. Ichiro, one of the game's great names and one of the game's best hitters. We'll see him in action today. It's Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. We've just passed the halfway point of this year. Thorne, Kruk, and Phillips with you. Safeco Field, the site of tonight's ball game. Happy Mariner fans on hand. We've got Cliff Lee, the starting pitcher. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Cliff Lee has really developed as a pitcher over the last several years. The key for him is command of the fastball on both sides of the plate. He has the willingness now to pound hitters inside and then go to the off speed pitches. He gets a lot of swings and misses on that fastball. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzy Gian's got going. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, it's so rare for a guy that has some power in his bat like Alexi Ramirez has, but he doesn't strike out a lot. That shows he has great plate discipline, and he also, when he gets a chance, he puts the ball in play. So look for some excitement and some action every time he comes to bat today. And yeah, so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last time out was a loss for the Mariners. Three game series, maybe uh, give up some momentum. Still trying to go two and one against Chicago. Hard grounded a short, and through it goes. The hit streak is on. Now we'll take a quick look at the Mariners and how they line up positionally. Highlight Steve for these fielders. Uh, Gary Ichiro, a real presence defensively, just as he is with a bat in his hand. He's got great range in the outfield and one of the better throwing arms in the game. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Lee. one I clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it, got him to swing right through it. Pitch on the way. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first down. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that too. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. See if he can't continue what he did last night when he picked up a couple hits. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Lee on one. Well, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. And Paul Canerco strikes out to not make contact. That's a lot of movement there for pitching 87 miles per hour. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And here's Damon going to try to score. A real pressure mounting right now. That base hit loads up the bases. He's going to have to make a pitch to try to get out of this mix. Two outs, bases loaded. Lined right at the second baseman. Throws to first side is retired. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no runs. So the first chance for the Mariners is coming up. Mark Burley is going to be pitching. He's going to start for Chicago. John wondering, uh, what's his primary focus here against the Seattle lineup? Well, don't blink your eye on this one, because if you do, you're going to miss some pitches from Mark Burley, the quickest worker in all of baseball. When he gets it, he throws it. There's no wasted time. He has a low pitch count. He throws a fastball, a curve, a changeup, a slider, a cut fastball. He throws them all for strikes, and he uses his defense. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he keeps the ball in play and down in the zone. Cutter misses badly. On and over. He tries to sneak that cutter down and in. Just didn't quite catch the plate. This one swung on line towards the middle. 
Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. Now presented by Pepsi. Here's a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, every team in baseball needs a great leadoff hitter, a guy that can ignite him to get on base to help your team score a lot of runs. And Ichiro Suzuki, in my opinion, is the best there is. Let's take a look and see how he does today. Swung on and popped way up high. So Figgins is retired. That's one down. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. And uh, Steve, individual factors out there. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a towards the middle. Burley. And that'll set down Bradley. Now let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Pauses, and now the 1-0. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. And the side's retired as they head into the dugout. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. A.J. Krasinski. Here's one hit very well deep. Ichiro will field. That one a one hopper off the wall. Let's check out the league hit leaders courtesy of State Farm. Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And Mark T into bat. They drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. Up the middle, and Wilson picks it up. He's and that'll set down Tian. We have a chance now to take a look at the Mariners and how they rank in the American League right now. Third in ERA, fourth in triples, and they also have patience at the plate, showing up in the top five in base on balls. Patience, a big asset for this team. Understanding it doesn't matter how you get on, you just need to get on base. Ichiro will field. Two men have been put away. And he looks that runner back to second base. Well, they followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play. They were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. Runner at third, hoping Johnny Damon can bring him in. One of the best batting averages in the league. There's a swing and a well hit ball deep into right center field. And out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Lee. 0 and 1. This is Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, you want to have the big inning. When you get that opportunity, put a crooked number up on the board. Curveball that tied him up and not swung on and missed. Side retired. Good start offensively. We get the first two runs of the game coming here in the second. The White Sox on top, two to nothing. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. And it's Jose Lopez at the plate. Number four, Jose Lopez. Burley with a delivery. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, he's got a good four seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. And Jose Lopez looks at that one go by for a ball, evens the count. Career numbers for him 277 off the White Sox. Ground ball to short, and Ramirez feels the ball. And Lopez set down. And it's Casey Cochran now. One out, nobody on. Swing and a shot to third. And it's through. Credit Cochman a single. 
he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. It's going to be Clement now. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch from Burley. Here's the delivery. Good change up. It's quickly 0-2. That change up got away from him a little bit right there, but he did get a strike out of it. Oh, still 0-2. Oh. And another foul ball. Well, when a pitcher throws a pitch out there 0-2, you're expecting him to get a ground out or a strikeout, but this guy just reaches out, puts it in play, defensive swing to keep this thing going. And he fouls another one off. Fastball got him two down. Two strikes, the hitter one at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. It's going to be Wilson now. Runner on first, two away. There's a bullet towards third. And there's Tien for the third out. Mark Burley, that's another good inning. He emerges from the first two innings on scape. And, and welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. Taps this one foul to the right. And Riggin spotting the pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. One bounce onto the wall. So with nobody out, he's aboard in second after that double. Well, these kind of hits right here, a double with no outs to start an inning, really puts the pitcher at a disadvantage and puts a lot of added pressure on that pitcher. Now a single can bring home a run. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Now Lee with the 0-1 pitch. Hit hard to second. So Quinton is retired. Coming up with the trade deadline now. Here's what the Central Division looks like, courtesy of the State Farm Standings Board. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. Third, the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Lee with the windup. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now, because they are hot. Alex Rio. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And by the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Out number two. Right now we have the teams doing their best to get on base, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. The Twins third. Red Sox fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fit. Well, when you're ranked number one in on-base percentage, that shows that you hit for average, but you're also willing to take the walk. It speaks to the patience of this lineup, and they're among the best in the game. That tag, and he is out at third. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. White Sox up three. It's Riggins at the plate. Catcher number 13, John. Burley with a delivery. Drags him out with a fastball for a strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. And, Good two-strike pitch. Misses high, 1-2. and two. Well, he went with the changeup right there, but he kept it up in the strike zone. He's lucky the hitter laid off of that one. That one goes foul. Up the middle. 
Burley. Over to Canerco. That's one away. Fast reaction by the pitcher right there. That ball got back on him quickly. He makes the play. Nice job. First pitch on the way to Ichiro. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Time for Ichiro to protect a bit. Line softly to center field. And that one is in there. His second hit today. That'll bring up Sean Figgins. All-star break behind us now. Let's see how the race is in the West. Brought to you by State Farm. The Mariners first place. It's the Angels in second. In third, it's the A's. And it's the Rangers in fourth. You could not have asked much more from the Mariners sitting on top of the American League West right now. And they've really opened some eyes with, they, with the way they perform. Line towards second. Beckham able to pull that one. And they'll hold him at first base. This ball scorched right at the second baseman. But he showed quick reflexes to be able to make the play. Runner on here from Milton Bradley. He's averaged 297 lifetime off the White Sox. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The Mariners still looking for a run. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Mark T into bat. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in run score, top five. And it's caught. The play by Griffey Jr. And Jim Tomey. Blew out last time. Base is empty, one out. Lee with the windup. Line shot into center field. Retiring Tomey. Two retired here. And it's Johnny Damon. He homered earlier in the ball game. Well, they find themselves ahead on this one, and obviously two big at bats from him so far in the game, driving in a run with a base hit, and then the home run, driving the ball out of the ballpark. So getting his pitches and doing some damage. Damon will foul that one away. Now Lee with the 0-1 pitch. Here's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Lee with the windup. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Now, if you saw the game last night, you saw what a disappointing day he had at the plate, striking out three times in that one. Let's see if he can turn it around today. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. Now Tremendous situation for now for the White Sox. Pitchers count. Hitters pitch. There's an 0-2 count. A little too aggressive on the pitcher's part coming into the strike zone. Good piece of hit. And here's Paul Canerco well, leading the league in home runs. Having to fish for that one, nothing and one. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. You're and out. Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. White Sox three, Seattle nothing. Leading it off, King Griffey Jr. Number 24. First pitch on the way. The pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've gotten three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. Oh, 
Murphy Jr. not fooled by that one. Count is even up. He had great arm motion on that changeup right there, but he left it just a little bit high. That one swung on its line. And Tian with the catch. You play at third base, you have to expect the ball to get on you quickly. But I don't think anybody expects it to get on you that quickly. First one to Lopez. Here's the pitch. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Lifetime four for 15 off Mark Burley. And Jose Lopez looks at that one go by for a ball, evens the count. Burley with a delivery. Foul fastball. Now the count one and two. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in. First strike. Big swing and a miss, Jose Lopez. That's strike three, and he's out. This one's right down the middle. He just swung and missed at it. Check his bat for a hole. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Kochman will foul that one away. Headed for the middle. Oh, my. He manages to get the glove on that. Talk about reflexes. What a play by the pitcher right there. He should have seen it. I think he had to close his eyes to make that catch. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. The White Sox still ahead. Clean up batter. You'll have next. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. There's a swing and a high drive down the left field line. Gone! A home run! Add one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here. Four up. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this, this lineup looking like to get very comfortable. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Cut fastball swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you got to really feel like they hit it right in the solar plexus. And, and, and from the pitching perspective, they have to try to shut them down. You cannot let them continue to expand this lead. It's going to be very difficult to come back to the plate. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. Number now we're going to get another look here at that cut fastball here at KK. And Rios is batting. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And here's the first one. Swing, hot shot. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. A.J. Krasinski. And the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Lee with the windup. Swing and a miss by A.J. Perzinski, and the count is knotted up. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. Right he has two. been so consistently good. One two pitch coming. Hit hard on the ground to short. The second, there's one. And two, a double play. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. The White Sox, four-run lead. It's going to be Clement now. Now Przinski sets up. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. We only one runner left on base, and you know we're moving right through the middle part of this ball game. So you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. Here's the pitch, swung on, grounded towards the hole. 
And that's our number one stepping on the back. It's going to be Wilson now. Nice coming off of the game last night. A little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. Oh, and one. Burley kicks and delivers. He throws. And he's aboard easily. A one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives him a couple outs to work with to see if they can push him across the board. And the first pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. Good offensive chance here. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Grounded up the middle. He picks it up. That's one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. Number eight. John Higgins. Well, sometimes the pitcher can do everything he can to record it now. He put this pitch right where he wanted it. The batter very lucky just to get it. And it is hit well off the bat of Figgins. That's down. The run's coming in. Seattle keep that momentum going and stay with it. The guy that gets them going offensively, he can move on the bases and seems to find a way to get scoring position. Bradley gets set. Here's the first pick. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Oh, and one. Burley kicks wow. and delivers. And Bradley with another foul ball. Burley with a delivery. And that's another foul ball. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And Ramirez fields the ball. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. He's limited the offense to just the one run over five. Good enough to have a lead in this ball game. And it'll be the White Sox. We'll be looking to the leadoff batter later on in this inning, another A.B. Here's a look at Don Wakamatsu. His club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning. Pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. And here's Martian. Right there in the top five in home runs. And that'll set down Tian. And as Jim told me in the box now. What a year for him. Top five in homers. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Hard grounded a short. And that hit streak will continue as that one gets through. Now and that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. He doubled his last time. Uh, complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers, and this guy's doing everything today. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball. Whoa. There's a wake up call. So he gets out of the way right there. If he hadn't been, he'd be headed at the first base. Sometimes you have to take one for the team. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Damon not making contact to even it up. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately just couldn't come up with a triple. Two. He lays off that one, but it's a called strike. One and two. This one could be trouble down the right field line. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment, Alexei Ramirez. We talk about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. And it'll be Brandon Lee doing the pitching. He'll be relieving for the Mariners now. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted or the manager wanted or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. Top five AL in runs scored. 
He's and up. he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads up play. You, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bat. So Paul Canerco with a chance two on and a couple away. Home runs. Leads the American League. Breaks a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. The pitch. Now they can all run. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit. They get two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. White Sox four. Seattle one. Safe go field. Whoa, what a Thank night you. to be here. It Number is beautiful. Baseball. Roof open. Here's the pitch to Griffey Jr. Now swing and a shot towards second. One away. And then the batter's box, it's Lopez. Struck out swinging his last time up. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. Now we can take a moment brought to you by State Farm to take a look at the league leaders in triple. Well, triples, Gary, I mean, if you're going to hit a triple, you better have a lot of speed, especially with all these new ballparks. They've seemed to make them a lot smaller, not as big a gap as there used to be. So you hit one in the gap right now, you have to be flying to be able to record a triple. Now the 1-0 pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And in there, he's two for three today. Now batting. Well, the inning is never over with this team. Two outs, they get that guy at first base with that big hit. Another guy gets on base. This could set up a big rally. First pitch on the way. The pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Boy, that good late movement down that cut fastball. Unbelievable action on that pitch. Off speed pitch is in there and he falls behind 0 and 2. The hitter needs a two strike approach. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. And there's the third out. Some good work. Mark Burley is leading in what is turning out to be a pretty good pitching matchup. And it'll be the White Sox. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch to Quinton. He's wishing he laid off that one. A strike on a pitch in the dirt. The pitch. That is strike two. And now the hitter behind Brandon League. He's in charge. Hit hard to second. One down. But take a look at what's coming up for the Mariners. The Chicago series ends tonight. And then they'll have to contend with Adrian Beltre as they play host to the Red Sox. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. That series is four games. Then they'll be off to take on the White Sox and that big bat of Carlos Quinton. That series is bound to be tough. And Beckham's in the box. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. And here's the first one. It's 0 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. Strike, strike two. two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Oh, what an effective pitch that two seam fastball had him way out in front of it. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play hopefully foul to get another pitch to hit and he starts Rios out oh. that's hit foul by Rios on the way swung on line to right center field and in there second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance now heading to third base. 
Now up well, the, the one thing you never want to do is one. make the last out at third base to end an inning, but he was able to get in there with that great speed just in time. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pierzynski. Two for three thus far. The first pitch. Swing and a rocket towards short. And Rios comes in. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Number 25, Mark Tian. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And Mark Tian up. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Offense coming to life late here, tacking on additional insurance runs, taking the pressure off the pitcher. And that'll put Tian on first. With this break here, the teams that have been piling up the runs courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Yankees. Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Twins. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, leading the league and runs score, that means they score runs in a lot of different ways. They have power. They have speed. They can manufacture runs. They can really find ways to score in any way possible. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. That is strike two, and now the hitter behind Brandon League. He's in charge. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? So uh, he ended that half inning with a strikeout. So they scratch across a run. Three hits. And it's Jack Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Huh? One for two in the ballgame. Number nine, Jack Wilson. Here's Wilson's first look. Strike one. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Look here with this big lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent. Up. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. You're and he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. It's Riggins at the plate. And a base hit his last time up. And Brzezinski calls for the pitch. Change up in there for a called strike. Look okay, here, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Burley with a delivery. Ground ball towards second. Back up. And that's in plenty of time for the others. And each of up. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. First pitch on the way to each of First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. And fouled off that first pitch, a one strike count. On the ground to short, fielded by Ramirez. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this happening. And they aren't able to make any noise here. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crutt, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. Add one more to that lead. Solo, big fly ball up by five. Now back for the Chicago White Sox. Bases are empty with no one out. Alexi Ramirez. A swing and a miss. Ramirez, strike one. He's 0 for 2 lifetime against Lee. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here down 0 2. Split finger pitch. Got him. That's out number one. That's a great strikeout right there, Gary. Three pitches and he sits him down. How about that for efficiency? Base is empty with one away. The pitch. There's a swing and a hit deep into center field. Way back there. Goodbye. Home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six. Solo. Big shot. 
And out on the mound, we've got David Artsman. He'll be relieving for the Mariners now. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy? Uh, when you bring in a quality reliever, you want a power fastball, and that's what David Ardsma has in his arsenal. That power fastball, they can blow by some of the best fastball hitters in the game. The key for him, though, is to get strike one. If he falls behind in the count, even the best hitters can turn that fastball around. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses one and two. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. Well, when the pitcher hits his spots and he sets you up for this pitch, it makes it very difficult. He swung right over the top of it and just couldn't make contact. Here's the first pitch. That a swing and a miss on the pitch from Artsman. Uh, just out in front of that sinker and he comes up empty. Strike, strike two. two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone You're right out. there. The hitter has to be ready for it. He's got no chance to hit it. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo. And it's Sean Figgins leading off. Single home run in his last at bat. Fresh count. Figgins. Here it comes. And the strike. Burley catches him looking. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. He deals. Swing, and that's going to be hit behind the plate. And Sean Figgins not looking for that pitch. Strike three. That's working in a hurry right there. He didn't mess around wasting pitches. But what that did, that pitch selection did, Gary, was keep the hitter off balance. When you don't waste pitches, you put the hitter back on his heels. And he gets this one by him on one. Uh, Gary, it was one out right here. They still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. That's it foul by Bradley. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll be tagged out along the first baseline. Right fielder, number 24, Aaron Griffey Jr. And it's Ken Griffey Jr. at the plate. 0 for 3 to this point. Base is empty and two down. Here's the pitch to Griffey Jr. Good pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen. Hit in the air to left center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. Griffey Jr. is going to go for it. He's not stopping there. He's on his way to third. And he is safe at third ahead of that play. Well, the one thing you never want to do is make the last out at third base to end an inning. But he was able to get in there with that great speed just in time. So Jose Lopez, he's thinking RBI. He bounced out his last time. First one to Lopez. Here's the pitch. Here's one that's in there called strike. 0 oh and 1. Burley kicks and delivers. And Ramirez feels the ball. Throws on the first side is retired. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. So White Sox still on top. And Alex Rios to lead off. You now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Hartsman's pitch swung on and missed 0 and 1. Well, you see that pitch coming in and it starts at the center of the plate, and all of a sudden it's off the ground, played by Kochman. It's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Oh, look at the leaders and extra base hits, courtesy of State Farm. Three for four thus far. Runner on first base, nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Cut on and missed, 0 and 1. 
but you can tell by that approach he was looking for that fastball. He got it, but still oh. out in front. Line foul towards third. Oh. This one has popped up to the left side on a play. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a sway the hitter had to keep it going. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And in the batter's box, it's Tian. He's had one hit four times up. First pitch, line towards first. Into the corner, likely extra bases. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Career, he's 0 for 1 off Arnsman. Here's the pitch. And that's by him 0 and 1. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Here's the delivery. Misses for a ball to even things at 1. Shot back to first, and Kotsman with a catch, and the runners will have Coming to stay back. put, second and third. Two on, and a couple 18. down. Here's Johnny Damon. He's already homered twice in this one. Gary, okay, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at-bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hartsman's pitch swung on and missed 0-1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, will cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Change up. Swung on and missed. That will retire the side. They give two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. White. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. Great game this club has put together. Things have gone really well. Here's the pitch to Kochman. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean you're down a ton. So you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. That's a lot of movement there for pitch at 87 miles per hour. You'll see this one going up and away, and as a hitter, that pitch looks as big as ever, but it's so tough to make contact on it. Now what he's got to do now is make sure that doesn't affect his confidence on the next A-B. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. A smash to first, and he steps on first. That's the second out. Number nine. It's going to be Wilson now. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Burley with a delivery. That's him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Fouled off. And it's in there. Strike three call. That's it. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And we take a look at our player who is clearly instrumental in this contest, our Pepsi clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club.